Okay, YouTube, how you doing? This is my trailer set up. I do a little bit of everything. My truck, trailer, these hooks. I put them on about a week ago for my ladders, but I decided to take them off because I'm gonna get the trailer uh, wrapped. So I want the ladders to be in the way of blocking the lettering. I built these shelves, spent about 60, 80 bucks on them. I was gonna buy a three quarters plywood, but I decided to go with a five eighths instead. Just a couple dollars cheaper, save some money. And here's where I run the extension cord through that hole right here. And plug this up, charge my batteries and stuff, whatever I need to charge, run the air compressor up here. I got my levels, you know, four foot, six foot, another four foot, a two footer, piping, copper, PVC, um, PVC, no, PCV, whatever it is, picks, some extra, uh, go around the edge for the towel, sluters, towel cutter, uh, drop cloths, and all that. Knee pads, uh, chalk, caulking gun, caulking, just miscellaneous tools here. I just got a, these go for my big uh, 28 extension ladder, tape in here. I use these to put my gloves in so that because the box gets torn up all the time. Here, I got one. Uh, quarter inch spacers here I got deck screws here I got my my nails for my trim gun here I just got all nails all rusted nail you know just all types of screws nails and stuff that you would need every day quarter of a box of drywall screws framing nails another miscellaneous screws screws more screw, lab, I mean a uh, string, wood glue, more wood glue. This goes to my Greco, the sprayer. Here goes a water heater for my bugs when I do towel in the winter. Here I just got a couple of my hand tools that I, this is what I keep on the trailer every day. No matter what, I got a circular saw with a cut brick or any any type of concrete blade my angle grinder I call it Zaza I know that's not what it's called another one the framing gun uh, jigsaw I think what it is and a, another circular saw power I mean cord drill and down here I got a bucket has all kinds of just miscellaneous tools, chisels and stuff, knives, screwdrivers, just a little mixture of everything. Over here I got my plumbing bucket, got all my plumbing tools in here, glues and stuff, Teflon. And this bucket system, I got it from another guy, he's the one who taught me about this bucket system. It worked for him and I like the way it works for me. Here I got all my painting supplies, rollers, brushes. Uh, screens and all that. Here is my shoot rock box bucket. I have everything from a four inch taping knife to a six and eight and, and a ten and a twelve. I got two of these uh, mud pens. Tape I keep in there for repairs. And here I got a uh, this is my towel bucket. I got all my trials in there. Uh, floats and stuff. I always, always keep a new sponge. Every time I do a job, I buy a sponge or I buy the big pack. Here, I got all my drills. Drill bits, I'm sorry. All types of drill bits. Couple knives. I got a little package. I had this for. 
couple years now. Kind of worn out, but it still helps to have it whenever you need that. Over here, I got all kinds of plumbing uh, things that you need to repair. Here, I got a bucket full of caulk. And here, I keep all my laminate tools, flooring tools. And a little sheet rock, a spackle and stuff. This is my, I do very small electrical. So this is just my ele my electrical bag. Got this. My, my fish tape. Pliers. More stuff. Screwdrivers. You know, check if it has current. You know, that stays here. I had a small chop saw. I let my father borrow that. So I don't have it on the trailer right now. Here is a, I think a 22.5 liter ridge vacuum. One of the best things I ever got right here. This vacuum. It helps a lot. And I, I always keep a hard hat. You would need that. Some jobs, they require you to have hard hat. Got a little nailer. Here I keep my uh, scaffolds. I mean not scaffolds, but uh, saw horses, I guess you would call them. Keep a little uh, step ladder. And most of the ladders, I only have one that I think is not a 300 pound limit or max load. But most of these are this Louisville. They're all 300. They're a little more expensive. Than the regular ones, but they're well worth the money. They last forever. Here I got a little setup where I got my extension cord. This is a 25 foot and a 50 foot. I had these on a thing right here, but it fell off and it broke. Have my air hose. This is a hundred foot. I'm looking to buy a 25 foot because sometimes I don't need all that. And here's a just a painting bucket. Here you paint. There's another one one gallon paint bucket and here goes one of the most important things is the first aid kit this is a 10 person first aid kit got it right by the door in case somebody ever gets hurt it's accessible here down here I made this little shoot thing it didn't come out like I want it I don't really like it I wish the trailer was bigger where I could stand them up but I mean I'm working with what I got I just got a shovel, a digging little shovel, broom, all my painting sticks in there, and a water shot off and all that. Compressor, I got a bigger compressor, but this is the one I use every day for, you know, trim stuff, whatever I need it. It works. It works for what I need it. When I ever do need the big one, I just get it out of the basement. Here, I keep, I always keep two buckets. You know, you always need buckets cleaning up trash or painting because I put all my painting here and I just use that uh this grid, put the grid in there and paint in that bucket. Or I use it a lot for uh, when I do towel, water, when it's for my mud. I always clean it out the best I can. You hardly ever see any mud. I do leave some paint in it because when you miss the thin set. It don't matter if we got paint in it or not, really. I always just leave a little paint in it. Here it is. I mean, it ain't much. I think it's a 4x8 trailer. I try to use every space of it the best I can. It's real. I used to have all this in the back of my truck. And I didn't like that because whenever I needed to go pick up material or something, I couldn't. Never really picked up anything, but a couple boards here and there. So now I just keep the back of my truck clean. Well, not clean, but with junk. <laughs> keep a cooler on the tra on the trailer for when the guys are working. They got water, whatever. When I'm out by the road or something, I always pull out my safety cones. This is a Wells Cargo, one of the best trailers, you know, company made. And. I got it where I can unhook it where I gotta go eat lunch. I just leave the trailer. 
And this is the first time I ever used these hooks on this side. But like I said, they're gonna come out because I'm like, I already got a guy. He's gonna build me a ladder rock, ladder rack on top. I'm gonna get that going. He should have that by the third. He say Monday. Here I got my two belt. Got a hammer on it, tape measure, a chalk line, little level, speed square. This is just my every, everyday tool belt, a knife in there. And I always keep a trash can because you always need a trash can. And I do eat a lot of chocolate. <laughs> but this is pretty much it. I just got over there a couple little, let it focus, little miscellaneous. Uh, tape measures cheap you know for the new guys because they'll just take them and lose them anyways got WD-40 all kinds of just little things everything on here has a purpose for me for what I do here oh you see more gloves these are better quality gloves for whenever I need them these are more expensive so I try to save these the most I can I have them here to block this little hole from anything falling off. Guess I ran out of wood and I never put one back. And I never, I'm never probably not. I'm not gonna lie. So here, I just keep my ladder. For now, I keep my ladders on inside. So every time I have use, I have to take the ladder out. That's why I'm getting a ladder out, ladder rack built. If you have any questions or anything you can comment on it I will answer them you know if you have any ideas any suggestions I do have a fire extinguisher inside so inside my truck I need to buy another one to put inside the trailer and I always keep it locked you know we invest a lot of money in our tools and I will hate for somebody to steal them any other bigger tools I, I do have more tools I just can't put a lot of them in here like a table saw, I don't put it in here because I don't use it every day. When I do use it, I throw it in the back of the truck and take it to the job site. But this is it. It ain't much. But it works for me. A little 5x8. 4x8. 5x8, I think. Trainer. Truck. I'll get, it. I'll get another video on there when I get the lettering and the wrap on it and the ladder rack and I'm uh this weekend I'm gonna paint all this clean all this rust off everything you see is black this is fiberglass and I'm still gonna paint it because I'm gonna put some LED lights inside this helps with the lighting but I'm gonna put LED lights so I'm gonna go ahead and paint it I'm painting the, the tongue on it right here and I'll replace this board the guy that's doing the ladder rack, he's going to build me like a little basket right here. A little basket where I put all this stuff in there and more. And I don't put a lot of weight. The most weight I ever put on it when it was empty when I first got it, I think it was about eight or nine squares of shingles in it. And they hold up pretty good. You know, but now I'm just going to... I'm, a, I'm just going to put all my tools in. I ain't going to put no material on it unless I put it on the ladder rack. And that's it, man. But, yeah, if you have any questions, any suggestions or anything, just comment on it. I appreciate it, and thank you very much. Y'all have a blessed day.